Hello, my name is Chloe, welcome to my channel. Today I'm bringing to you the 60 books I've unhauled lately. And yes, you heard that right. Since I last did one of these videos, I have unhauled 60 books. You would not be able to tell that because I've hauled so many that some of my shelves are even double stacked now. So I've got a bit of a hauling problem, which means I had to develop an unhauling solution. As always, how I do these videos is I just make a note every single time I unhaul a book. I don't hold on to them for the purposes of this video. So a lot of these have already gone to other places, but I like bringing you a full list of the books that have left my collection so that you know I bring so many books in that it means I have to get rid of so many. So it only makes sense for you to know how my apartment isn't overrun with books. I mean it is, but how it's not more overrun. We are using natural light for this video, so if the lighting changes quite a lot, I'm sorry, but we're on the going out of English summer now, so we've just got to live with it. Okay, the first book on my massive list of 60 books is Cruel Summer by Juno Dawson. I read this one a couple months ago and I thought it was pretty awful, I won't lie. Um, it was a YA thriller, it was all a bit predictable, a bit far-fetched, um, but I don't even have it to hold up because it was victim to the flood in my apartment uh, that did wreck quite a few books I was unhauling at the time. So that one is sadly in the recycle bin. <laughs> And as I always say, I forgot to say at the start of this video, if you are interested in any of the books I physically hold up, please do let me know. Some of these I am selling for different reasons, so I can't guarantee just from you messaging me that all I'm asking for is postage, um, but it's worth, if you really, really want it, just get in touch and I'll see what I can do. So the first one I have physically is Someone We Know by Shari Lapina. This book was okay, it's just a kind of domestic thriller about a small neighbourhood and a woman who goes missing. Oh, a woman who's found murdered, my apologies. But I do have this signed copy um, that I've had for sale for a little while and no one seems to care about. It is not the best Shari Lupina book I've read. It's definitely, definitely very good though and I would recommend it. I'm just not going to reread it so there's no point me holding on to this pretty big book. Then we have Then She Was Gone by Lisa Jewell, which I've actually given to one of my friends at work. And this was a um, an adult thriller about a little girl who goes missing and in the future, her mother starts dating a man who has a daughter who is very, very like her daughter. Does that make sense? Um, and again, it was pretty good. I think I gave it three and a half stars, but I'm not gonna read it again. I've realized I'm probably talking too much about these seeing as I've only got, I've got 60 to talk about. Next we have The Girls by Emma Klein. And sadly, I didn't love this one. This is a book about a cult. I think it is supposed to be based on the Manson family and I couldn't tell you anything about it. I ended up listening to the audiobook rather than reading this giant book. And I, it was just a waste of time. <laughs> in my honest opinion. Next we have The Last House Guest by Megan Miranda, which for me is objectively the worst Megan Miranda book there is. I could not tell you anything about this. Even reading the back, I'm like, did I? Did I read that? It was, nothing happened. There was a girl who committed suicide and a year later, the best friend is like, I don't think she killed herself kind of thing. And it was, it was very dull, it was very dull. Then I can't find this book, so it must be gone. I got rid of Super Awkward by Beth Garrard. This was a very young YA contemporary and I was just never gonna read it, so I got rid. Then I finally unhauled Seafire by Natalie C. Parker, which I must have sold, because it's not here. That was an absolutely gorgeous book and I'd read Beware the Wild by Natalie C. Parker. I'd tried to read Seafire twice and I hadn't got past the first chapter, so I decided enough was enough and it had to go. Then another one I gave to my friend at work, I uh, got rid of Eleven Missed Calls by Elizabeth Carpenter. This one I hadn't even tried to read, but I got it a very long time ago. It was an adult thriller and I just didn't care. Same with An Anatomy of a Scandal by Sarah Vaughan. Had it for a while, didn't really feel like I was gonna read it, so gave it to a work friend. Then I'm getting rid of one I didn't even try to read, and I think it is actually in my top 10 contemporary TBR, but it can go, is Wild Like Me by Louise Pentland. Sounds really silly. I knew I wasn't going to get around to it soon and it's absolutely massive. It cost me 50p in the charity shop and I'm not going to prioritise it. So 
it's going. Okay, then a few that I think are in the back of my car for my goddaughter. The first one is The Worst Thing About My Sister by Jacqueline Wilson. Wasn't gonna read it. It's going. Same as Four Children and It. She did like the cover of that one because it was gold, so she wanted that. Cherry Crush by Kathy Cassidy, I think is also in the car for her. Or I've lost it. I feel like I've got a box of books somewhere that I've forgotten about because I don't know where half of these have gone, but they have technically been unhauled. <laughs> I also got rid of Everything All At Once by Katrina Leno and what I did with that book, I could not tell you. I gave it to my friend from work. I gave it to my friend from work. I also got rid of The Unbecoming of Mara Dyer by Michelle Hodkin. I read this one. It was a gift from a friend that I'm no longer friends with, so I wasn't gonna reread it. I wasn't gonna carry on with the series and I didn't like the person, so it's gone. I got rid of More Happy Than Not by Adam Silvera, which is one that I kept saying I was gonna read sometime. I kept putting it on TBRs and I just never did it, so gone. Similarly with The Boneless Mercies by April Genevieve Tcholke. Still haven't learned that author's name, I'm so sorry. Um, was never gonna read it, so I sold it. Then another one I gave to my friend from work is An Anonymous Girl by Greer Hendricks and Sarah Pekkanen. I did not like The Wife Between Us, so I don't know why I got this in the first place. And I think the final one I gave to her was Bad Sister by Sam Carrington, another adult thriller that I was just not gonna read. Now a bit of a booktube darling that I feel bad about, but I just admitted I was never gonna read it. And that's Daughter of Smoke and Bone by Lainey, by Lainey Taylor. This is a YA, is it YA or is it adult? It's a fantasy series that I have no intention of starting, so it can go. I then got rid of Wilder Girls by Rory Power. I read it a couple months ago and gave it two stars and I had no intention of reading it again. So I put it up on Bookswap and that is where that one went. Another one I think is in the boot of my car is Opal Plumstead by Jacqueline Wilson. I don't need it. I then unhauled Carry On by Rainbow Rowell. This is the book that um, it's a fan fiction written in Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell and was then published into its own book. Like it, it wasn't fully written in Fangirl, you know what I mean. And I didn't really love it, so I'm not gonna reread it, so it's gone. Then we have Drama Rama by E. Lockhart, which is a YA contemporary I read and I rated it two stars, I think, maybe two and a half, no, probably two. So put it up on Bookswap and I actually only posted that one out yesterday. Sorry, I don't know how long I was out of focus for. If that was a while, I do apologize. The next one I got rid of was The Inheritance Games by Jennifer Lynn Barnes. I was really sad about this one because it was a gift from Laura, but I read it and I didn't like it. So it has to go. Another one I have here that I did actually like is Paper Butterflies by Lisa Heathfield. I gave this three and a half or four stars. I'm not actually that sure, but I don't see myself reading it again. I did not enjoy the first three quarters of it that much. It was a two star read. And then something absolutely shocking happened, which is what got it the higher rating. And I feel like knowing the shocking element it wouldn't get it if I read it again. Does that make sense? I also got rid of The Darkest Minds by Alexandra Bracken. I did have the paperback of this. It was quite chunky. Um, I ended up listening to the audiobook anyway, didn't even touch the book. So I unhauled the book when I didn't like the audiobook. The next one I have is Differently Normal by Tammy Robinson, which is a YA contemporary I read way back when. And I just have absolutely no desire to read it again. So I got rid. <laughs> Can you see a theme here? I also got rid of There's Someone Inside Your House by Stephanie Perkins, which is a YA horror that I did not find scary. So I'm not gonna read it again, it's gone. Next up, I have two books uh, in a series. I have The Air and The Crown by Kira Cass. So these are books four and five in the Selection series. The Selection series has the main trilogy, which I absolutely adore. And then I wasn't a massive fan of these. So I thought, let's get rid. Next up, I have an absolutely gorgeous book that I don't want to unhaul just because it's gorgeous, but I didn't enjoy it. So it's gotta go. And that is Beauty and the Beast, the Mina Lima illustrated edition. It makes me so sad because this is so gorgeous. <sighs> but I didn't like the story, so it's going. Next one I was so, so grateful to own, but I just don't see myself rereading it, and that is The Hunters by C.V. Frodsham. This was another present from Laura. God, Laura, I'm sorry about this video. Um, but she knows the author, Claire, so I had it signed and personalized to me um, for Christmas, I think it was, and I read it, I did enjoy it, I think I gave it three and a half stars. I'm just not gonna read it again, so gotta go. 
Next I have one that I was rereading to see whether I wanted to keep it forever and that is The Curious Instant of the Dog in the Nighttime by Mark Haddon. So I reread this, gave it three stars which matches every rating I've ever given this book. I read it in school, read it after school and just reread it and then I did find out from one of my subscribers that um, this is really bad representation for autism so I didn't know that going in and the only things I liked about the book were how I thought it portrayed autism. Um, so that's my own bad judgment. I don't personally know, like, or have any experiences that would help me understand that. So I was going off what Mark Haddon said and apparently it's not accurate. So definite unhaul. Next one I was just looking for, but I sold it. I've actually got the whole series here. I have The Cruel Prince, The Wicked King and The Queen of Nothing by Holly Black. So these books were gorgeous, the covers were gorgeous, I wanted to keep them forever, but I read the whole series and I don't think any of them got a four star, I think the highest rating was a three and a half, so I don't need to keep books like that in my life. Then I have two books that I actually unhauled and gave to Rachel, so the first one being Not Here To Be Liked, this one I read last week, the week before, no, this week, and I did enjoy it, I think I gave it three and a half stars and it just wasn't one I was going to reread and Rachel had said that she wanted to read it so I shipped it on over pretty much immediately. Same as The Sad Ghost Club by Liza Meddings, um, I read it, didn't really get it, that's a confusing one for me, didn't really understand what the hype was there, um, but yeah I didn't need to keep it so it's gone. Okay, now we've got to the section where I did a very brutal unhaul of the books on my shelves and I am not sorry. So the first one I'm getting rid of is Lucas by Kevin Brooks. I read this a couple times as a teenager and loved it. And then I've been holding on to it thinking I will reread this one day and I don't want to. So, gone. Next up, one I think I have a very good reason for, Harrow Lake by Kat Ellis. I read this back in April. I buddy read it with Rhiannon and... I didn't like it then, I gave it three stars and I said it wasn't scary, so maybe I'd reread it closer to Halloween and see if it was scary, and then I thought well, why would the season change whether it was scary or not, so gone. Next is a little adult romance and that is The Piano Man Project by Kat French. I don't really want this because it was taking up space on my shelves and I wasn't excited about it. And all I think of now is the piano man upstairs who I would like to um, drop a piano on. So I don't want to feel romantic about a piano playing guy. Next, a little gorgeous book that I just know I'm not going to reread. And, and that is The Little Prince by... Um, and um, why do I always try? It is The Little Prince. And it's in this gorgeous Macmillan Collector's Library edition. And I'm just not going to reread it. So it's got to go. Next, a teeny tiny little book is The Kissing Booth, The Road Trip, which is the tiny World Book Day book. This one though, I've sort of fallen, fallen out of love with the Kissing Booth series after the release of the third book. Um, and I just don't need to keep this for memories when it's just a little World Book Day book and I'm not too over the moon with the series so it can go. Now I think we're hitting the big chunk of Jacqueline Wilson books I'm getting rid of. So all of these are ones that I just didn't feel excited about so they can go. We have Diamond, Katie, Hetty Feather and Sapphire Battersea in that little chunk of books and all of these are just ones that I knew I wasn't going to get too soon, didn't feel excited about so they can go. Next getting rid of a book I did actually really love, I just don't think I'm going to reread it especially in this edition and that is Wonder by RJ Palacio. I think this is an absolutely amazing book that all kids should read, it was so moving and it's about accepting disabilities and the fact that people with disabilities are exactly the same as everybody else they just might look a bit different or act a little bit different and I thought it was just so great like learning about acceptance and stuff and I wish I would have read this as a kid but I don't really love this edition it's the movie one it's a bit I don't know I didn't like the look of it on my shelves and I don't think I'm going to reread it so it's gone. Next one that I sent over to Victoria at what Victoria read I sent her His Only Wife um, by Peace Adso Medi which I got from Tandem on their book tour and I read it, I enjoyed it, I just don't think I'm going to reread it, so gone. Then we have more Tracy Beaker. We have, make sure I get all these right, Wave Me Goodbye, My Mum Tracy Beaker, Emerald Star, Clover Moon, Jackie Daydream, and 
the illustrated mum so most of these i just didn't think i was going to read and wasn't excited about the illustrated mum i did read and i just didn't love it and i was only going to keep it if it had just amazing memories so it's also going to go next one i'm getting rid of just because i know i'm not going to read it again and that is thirst number one by christopher pike i still have the collections number two and three i'm hopefully reading number two very very soon and then um number three i'll hopefully get to eventually but i just don't need to keep this because i'm not going to reread it so i was going to hold on to them until i'd finished all three and then get rid but that makes no sense next one i feel pretty good about unhauling is it's not okay to feel blue by um well curated by scarlett curtis this is a non-fiction book about mental health and like self-help and the reason i'm getting rid of this one i was really excited to own this and i was really happy that i had it but I wasn't prioritizing it and I feel like this is the sort of book that could be very very useful in someone else's hands it could even potentially be life-changing um and I don't want to hold on to it at the back of my shelves when somebody might actually really benefit from this book so I don't need to hold on to it next one I read a couple days ago and just didn't love is The Poison Garden by Alex Marwood um, I gave it two stars. I wasn't a fan. So again, it's another cult book. I like learning about cults, but I feel like fiction books about cults just don't, don't hit where you want them to. Next, I have The Lottie Project, which I've just read and I did really enjoy it. I gave it three stars. Sorry, I look a bit strange. I keep sneezing. So I'm cropping out the sneezes, but I constantly look like I'm about to sneeze. Um, but this one is about Charlotte, who is doing a project on the Victorians and she decides to write a diary of Lottie, the nursery maid and um it was a really good time i did enjoy it but this copy is pretty beat up and i just didn't want to keep the ugly beat up copy on my shelf so maybe one day if i find an amazing copy i'll keep it forever but like for now it, it can go and that is all 60 but i have another one here is number 61 that i forgot about i'm unhauling the tracy beaker trilogy so i read the story of tracy beaker from the front of this and i just don't want to carry on with the rest so i'm getting rid of this com like um volume of the tracy beaker trilogy so that one can also go but there we are those are all of the books i unhauled unhauled lately i don't know when i did last did this video but what i will say is that if you did want any of the books i held up then please do just drop me a message as i said like some of these i'm only just unhauling and i do like to give them a shot at selling first or going on book swap or something like that but let me know, drop me a message, we'll see what we can do. But on that note, I am on my lunch break right now, so I need to get back to work. We'll put all these away and then get back to work. So thank you very much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one.